People ask me, should I add chlorine to the solution in my float tank? And the answer is maybe. And the reason that I answer like that is that a lot of the municipalities are mandating a halogen, meaning chlorine or bromine or something just like that. And so if they're mandating it, then yes, they're making you put it in there because they're going to come in, they're going to dipstick the water, or they're going to take a little vial of it and test it to see if there's between one and five parts per million of chlorine. Now, one of the things that makes you crazy when it comes to a float tank is that magnesium sulfate is something that the municipalities aren't used to dealing with. So they don't know that when you put chlorine into magnesium sulfate, it turns it like a mahogany color for a couple hours. And that is the magnesium being turned into magnesium oxide. And so it's an oxygen reaction with an oxidizer, which is chlorine. So some people use chlorine in the tank in order to freshen it up, thinking that they make it smell better. Some people are using chlorine in it thinking that they're shocking it, and you're shocking nothing because there's nothing living in that solution. And so basically you're getting the chlorine to go into the filter where you think that maybe I absorbed a mold product or I absorbed a, a uh, bacterial product that was floating on the surface and I want to kill it in the filter give it a shot. But ultimately, chlorine is not necessary on a float tank as a daily or weekly thing. It's just used as needed in accordance with how you interpret your environment and in the city that's managing you.